All right. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to another amazing Geek Vibes live interview. I'm your host, Tia, and I'm joined with me with joined with a very, very special guest, one of the stars of Netflix's Who Killed Sarah. You know I'm a fan of this show. I can't wait for the second season to come out. Leo Deluglio, thank you so much for being here today. Hey, thank you, Tia. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. I'm so happy. Um, you're in Mexico right now. It probably looks so gorgeous. Um, so you must be happy with the warm weather uh, because in New York, it's been very, very cold. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, yes. There's a lot of, of heat around here, but you're fine. Mexico is nice. Nice weather. Nice, nice. Um, so you play the younger version of the character that Manolo Cardona plays in Who Killed Sarah. You play Alex. Um, how was that playing the younger version of this character? Okay, that was like an adventure for me because we have to do that work with Manolo to like look alike like Alex, um, because he's an, a different actor. He's Colombian, I'm Argentinian, so that was kind of an issue. Mm -hmm. But we tried, we tried to, to, to talk in the same language. I mean, like no accent thing. And yeah, it was fun. And Netflix got us um, help with coach. And it was really fun. So, yeah, it happened that people doesn't notice that we are from different countries. How was that working with Netflix? Is this your first Netflix production? Yes, it is. And it was awesome because, I mean, Netflix is a really incredible um, crew they all and uh, take care of us every time and we have so much fun because i don't know it's it's different when you work like a production that doesn't really care about what they're doing but netflix do really care and uh, what they're doing and they make us feel us feel safe and feel uh, like we're doing something that has to be really important for the for for netflix and that make us think that we were important to them all the time. That's really important for me as an actor. I can imagine. Um, when you filmed Who Killed Sarah, did you film it during the pandemic or was this beforehand? Yes, it was during the pandemic and it was, it was like weird because we couldn't like hug each other or uh, like shake hands with the other people. And that was weird for me because I like to say hi to people and have the other person and to have contact with them, physical contact. And it was like weird, you know, but everything went right because there was no, um, people that got sick during the production and that that was like Netflix did everything worked fine that's really good to hear you had um a lot of scenes where you had to get into close contact with people but you always felt uh well protected because of what Netflix was doing to make sure everyone was safe Yes, yes, that's exactly what happened. Netflix all the time did COVID test, test, COVID test, and we were all safe all the time. And that makes us feel safe all the time. And we, we could work like we, we were safe all the time about that thing. That's really good to hear. Um, while playing young, the younger version of Alex, your character had a lot of good times, right? You're on the beach, you're having fun with your friends, with your sister. And then you have moments where you're showing a lot of emotion 
like the courtroom scene. Um, how did you, you know, how did you get into that to show all of that emotion? I mean, it, it was difficult because, yeah, as you say, the court scene was difficult. The prison scene was really hard, but we, we were very lucky because we had these directors that they all knew how to do that. And they told us, Leo, please, we have to be realistic about this. We can we can't like cry on prison because that that is a sign of weakness for the other people there, and Alex can't cry when he he noticed that he's going to to jail for thirty years. I, I mean, they they knew how to do that. I didn't, and I follow in that direction because. They, they, they were real, really clear with, with us all the time. Do that. Don't do this. That's a wrong choice. This is the right choice. Do that. And we follow orders and we act and we have fun. That was like the main thing that they wanted us to do. And that was what happened all the time in all of, the, of that scenes that they were really difficult. Right. Well, I think you did a really good job in that. And as you said, yes, uh, a younger man, especially going to prison, can't show that sort of emotion. It would, wouldn't be good for him. Um, mm -hmm. One of my favorite scenes in season one is when the actor who plays the younger version of Chema uh, professes his feelings for Alex. And Alex lets him down, but in a really nice way. It wasn't the stereotypical getting angry or anything like that. How important was that for Alex to, you know, let him down nicely while still saying like, you're my friend, it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I don't feel that way about you. Yeah, that's a really important scene for Alex because on that scene, we show that Alex is like the, that friend we all wanted want to have. And with that scene, we show that Alex is the last person you want to see like struggling and, and with life. And you don't want Alex to be on prison never in the, in the, move, in the show. And everything that happens later for Alex is like the, the worst thing. And he is the last person you want to, to be on that situation because of everything that he told in that scene, because he's a really good friend. He, he always have fun. He loves his family. And when that happens, I mean, it hurts all of the people that are watching the show, it hurts them. And with that scene in particular, the writer told me that he wants, he, he wanted to, to not, not to Alex to, to answer to that thing that, that Chema told him mm -hmm. on a homophobic way, you know? Right. He, the, the writer wanted to 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 not 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 Alex to to be homophobic, right? With Chema, and that's what the whole scene is about. Yeah, I felt that was very refreshing. You see a lot of movies and TV shows that do something similar, where the person would get angry. Um, so I, I like that, and I like that the director went in that uh, direction. Um, speaking about Alex's family, the whole show is about who killed Sarah. Um, I mean, and I thought we were getting close to that in season one, but it looks like Sarah is a completely different person than we thought she was. I mean, what should fans expect in season two? And are you uh, coming back for season two? Yes, yes, I am coming back. We we are going to see 
a lot more of the past of these pests of these uh, characters mm -hmm. from Alex you will know you will know more of his life of why he is such a good brother to Sarah and about Sarah you will know a lot more about her and why she is so she she's so like how do you say it she's like a, a thing there's a thing with sarah I, i i don't want to tell more about that but there's a thing about sarah and alex is going to know that and the whole investigation is going to change for him because he thought it was like one thing and it's completely another with sarah That's what it seemed at the end, and especially the trailer for season two. Um, I don't think that we as the audience were expecting that we would get a season two so quickly. It's coming in May. Um, did you shoot seasons one and two back to back? No, we, we shoot the first season on March last year and the second on November, they were separated mm -hmm. because at, at, at first it was supposed to be just one season, mm -hmm. but Netflix saw the show and they told, they told us to, to wait because they wanted to do a second season because they love it. So that's what happened. It was really quick, quick, quickly for us mm -hmm. that they, they, they told us to to be prepared for the second season, but I'm glad that happened because second season is awesome. I love it. It looks really exciting. I mean, if you could, you know, not give anything away for people, but I mean, what's say the big thing that everyone should be excited for in season two? Well, the whole investigation is coming to an end. I don't think there's going to be a third season. So second season uh, is like the, the, the big question is answered on the second season. And nobody, nobody will expect what happened, what happens. Nobody will expect. I, I think that it's going to be really a surprise uh, for all of you and the fans what happens with Alex, with Sarah, and with all the characters, there's going to be a lot more of action. There's going to be a lot more of, of love. There's also a great scene between Alex and Chema, and that is like really, really nice to see because we, we get to know that relationship a little bit more, and we had a lot of fun, more fun than we had on this first season. Oh, okay. That's great to hear. Uh, I'm very, very excited for that. Um, you know, before we kind of wrap everything up here, um, if you could pick one scene in season one that was your favorite, what scene would it be? Um, that's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think, Yeah, the one with Emma when when he confessed when he confessed to Alex his feelings. I really liked that scene because it was a special day. We were really tired. We shoot that like around 5 a.m. Oh wow. And we were really tired. And that scene was actually Leo talking to Polo, the actor, because We are so, so close. We, we, we are really good friends in real life that we were talking to each other as, a, as, as Alex and Chema, but we were talking like friends. I mean, that, that, that friendship they had, the, the, the characters, we were actually not, not acting at all that scene. I mean, that's the reason why that's my favorite. That's really great to hear. Um, so we have the second season of Who Kills Sarah coming out in May. Um, and that's super, super exciting. But besides that, do you have any other projects that are upcoming that you would like to talk about and that we should all keep our eyes open for? Well, right now I'm really into this second season, uh, Who Kills Sarah, 
uh, pro, um, promotion. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm like really excited about that. I have a few um, propositions, work propos propositions, and I, I, I can't talk a lot about that, but something to do with with your beautiful country, the U.S. I'm I'm on on I'm chatting with a, a few a few productions there, but right now I'm excited about second season of Who Kills Sarah, and that's that's the thing right now with me and my career. That's really exciting. Well, I hope to see plenty of other projects from you. Um, I love that this show is as successful as it is. I spoke to Manolo and Carolina probably a week before the show came out. Um, and Manolo has said that how important it is for a show like Who Kills Sarah to be out for Latin America because it's not um, like I love say narcos but it's not about the drug trade it's not about anything like mm -hmm. that it's a murder mystery and that it's really important for latin america to tell stories like that would you happen to agree with what he had said yeah yeah i totally i totally agree because productions here in mexico and they always uh try to make things related to narco thing um and stuff like that and i'm really happy that we didn't we didn't dive into that thing uh, to to have a successful show and i think that's really important for us because when you see the show you can tell that there's a lot of stories that we that we can tell here in mexico there's a lot of great actors here and I think that the show being the number one almost in the whole world is the proof that that's happening here in Mexico. And I'm, I'm really happy that that's happening. I am too. So I'm really excited for season two. Leo, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Um, I hope that all of the stuff that you have going on goes well. And I hope that you're staying safe with uh, the pandemic still happening. And hopefully at some point we'll be over this hurdle, but thank you again for speaking with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I did, thank you Tia. And let me send a big hug to all the fans in the US. And thanks a lot for, for making Who Kills Sarah number one in your beautiful country. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye, yeah.